Well, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden is taking some heat over remarks she made at a Hispanic Unity Conference in Texas, including her pronunciation of the word bodegas, as well as comparing Latinos to breakfast tacos. Take a listen. The diversity of this community, as distinct as the bodegas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. Well, the First Lady's press secretary issuing a statement saying, quote, the First Lady apologizes that her words conveyed anything but pure admiration and love for the Latino community. Well, joining us now, White House columnist, columnist Niall Standage from our partners at The Hill. Niall, we see that response. Is it enough or does the White House need to do a little bit more damage control? I think the key question there is damage control. I don't think the damage will be erased from this remark. It's the kind of memorable and embarrassing moment that tends to stick in people's minds for quite a long time. Having said that, the White House obviously doesn't want to fuel the story. It doesn't want to give it fresh legs, as we say, by continuing on commenting on this or uh, making other remarks about it. So I think they will leave it there. I think that controls the damage. I don't think that erases the damage. Well, let's talk about polls that you know show support for Democrats among Latino voters is really starting to be a growing problem. What is making some vo voters lose faith in the party they've historically supported? A lot of Democrats are trying to find that out. There have been a number of research papers published on this. Part of the issue appears to be cultural issues and certainly the identification of the left of the Democratic Party with issues like defund the police. But we also hear a lot of uh, complaints from Democratic activists who are themselves Latino believing that the party's approach can be a little bit crude, not acknowledging that there are, for example, very considerable cultural differences between, let's say, Cuban-American voters in Florida and Mexican-American voters in Texas or California or anywhere else. So I think there is a feeling that it isn't a nuanced and sophisticated enough approach. And of course, uh, the First Lady's comments do, unfortunately for Democrats, play into that. Well, let, you know, let's go back to her comments again really quickly. You know, let's let's look at the p possible impact here on on Latino mm. voters when it comes to the midterms and then beyond. Mm. Well, I think her comments are really, as I say, sort of part of a bigger picture. That's where the danger lies. It's not that voters are going to hear this comment in isolation and run away from the Democrats. But you rightly pointed out, Nicole, that Democrats are having difficulties with, with Latino voters. They had hoped that Latino voters were going to be a reliable block. That's now in question, and those questions are deepened or underlined by a controversy like this. All right, Niall Stanage reporting for us out of Washington. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.